Welcome everybody, Level M Diecast bringing you green light action today. As you can see here, we do our Route Runner Series 5. This is the full set of six. We're going to try a little bit of a different format when I can with the green light. I do like to be able to just crack it this way instead of doing some premium diecast hauls we've been doing in the past. We're just going to see if we can go through and just crack the full case and go through the whole process. I think that's a little bit better. You guys can drop a comment if you agree with that or not. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one. Eventually, someday I'll get a correct blade. Eventually. So we'll go ahead and crack this open. Brand spanking new series release. Always like route runners. Been a big fan of those. So crack that back. Just start from the top. First one we're going to take a look at. 2019 Ford Transit LWB High Roof. Pennzoil Express Change. It's pretty involved deco. That looks pretty good. Definitely like that one for sure. Just Route Runners Series 5. Nothing's different on the rest of these. So same card, same blister information. Next one up, we do have a 2019 Pro Master 2500 Cargo High Roof. This is for Canada Post. So pretty cool to add another uh canada post one to the mix Ooh, very detailed uh deco in the back we'll definitely take a look at that when we crack the blister looks like we have a police one here this is the chicago pd 2019 ford transit lwb high roof that one looks pretty cool it does have the light bar on the top very nice slim led bar on the top it looks super super cool definitely looking forward to that man i love i love route runners it's one of my favorite series Next one up, this is the 2017 Ford Transit LWB High Roof in dark blue. That is basically, basically Amazon blue, uh, but it's not Amazon. Um, and typically, Amazon usually has uh, Ram Promasters. They don't typically have Ford Transits, but still, that's that's essentially your um, Amazon color. Uh, next one up here, another 2021 ProMaster 2500 Cargo High Roof. This is for uh, Canada, or I'm sorry, Mexico Post. So that's cool. We've had uh, a couple of these uh, previously. So pretty cool to see that carry on. So that's pretty cool. I think or it's either Canada Post or uh, it's a Canada Post Office, pretty much is what I think it is. And then the very last one in the mix, very happy that I did not get a green machine. I know most of you guys want green machines all the time. Uh, I particularly did not. Uh, 2020 Ram ProMaster 2500 high cargo roof. Uh, this is for Armor All in orange. So that one looks super, super cool. So we will throw our box up. And then we'll just break out our trusty scissors. And we will get right into our route runners. This uh, clamshells seem a little bit thicker than normal. Um, so I don't know if that's a good or bad, but they are they're quite thick uh, to say the least. So I'll slide this out. Get the clamshell out of there. And then we'll pull out our Ram Pro Master. There is our Pram, Ram Pro Master in armor roll. Looks fantastic. De details look good. Deco looks good. Doesn't look like we have any quality issues. Looks very, very good. Does say Ram right there in the front. Very nice details on those. We, the uh, side mirrors look pretty good. Uh, they've always kind of tilted in a little bit, so that's that's nothing new. It's just kind of kind of what happens with green light. Uh, prints on this side look pretty good. They do have some print in there for the uh, track for the sliding door. Obviously, it does not open, but that's perfectly fine. These are uh, Ram ProMaster specific wheels. So that's pretty cool. There is the deets on the back. Looks very, very good. Very, very nice. And there's no prints on the top. It's just orange. And then taking a look at our base deets. It's all nicely coated on the bottom. 1285 is the number. Of course, this guy is set up for a trailer hitch. He has been uh, in hitch and tow before. So that one looks pretty cool. So definitely like that one. Moving on to another ProMaster. 
2021 Ram Pro Master. This is for the Mexico Post. Man, I love route runners. This is one of the coolest series from Greenlight. I just, I'm so blown away that they did this. And uh, it just keeps on going. Series 5. So we'll slide this guy out of there. There is our 21, 2021 Ram Pro Master. There is the uh, website right there on the top. Looks pretty good with that kind of lime green and uh, kind of a magenta color. Definitely like that. Looks pretty good. Some details on the front. Does say Ram in the grill. Looks pretty good. Pretty accurate to the source material. Uh, the prints are really good. Um, they're not inkjet printing, but they're pretty good. I do like the chevrons here in the back. There's some super fine prints. Not sure if we could get that to focus or not. So it looks like uh, basically one of those numbers that says, hey, if I'm driving like an idiot, uh, call this number pretty much. Uh, 253 is the number on this one, so pretty low number, 263. 263, there we go. So interesting that the bases are coated. You see how they're coated? They're like clear coated, which is kind of weird. Um, I mean, it's fine. I just think it's kind of weird. All right, moving on to our very first Ford Transit in Pennzoil Express Lube. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, very, very involved deco. Working the scissors. It's really thick. Like these clamshells are really, really thick. Um, and I don't know if it's because maybe the route runners are bigger and heavier because um, they're all metal, but could be. So slide that guy out of there. There we go. Pens oil, quick oil change. Express oil change looks very, very good. That decal looks really, really good. You can see it with the shine on it. it looks very nice. Uh, these are uh, transit specific wheels as well. Uh, just like the Ram Pro Master did. I specifically like these ones. They There's like another version they use, but I really like this one. Um, it's nice and beefy. Looks pretty good. There is the deets on the front. Nice prints on the front. Have your Ford logo as well. With the uh, marker lights up here, it looks pretty good. Mirrors look pretty good. This one is a little bit bigger than the Ram Pro Master because you know the Transit is a little bit bigger than the the Pro Master is, but that looks pretty good. Pretty nice details on the side. It is a Transit 250, so that's cool. Very very cool details. So if that's supposed to be a Ford logo. It's just not printed right. You see right there, it's supposed to be supposed to be a Ford logo, but that's not that big a deal. I can live with it. Taking a look at our base Deets 1092 is the number on this one. Get that right in the glare so we can read it. These ones are also coated on the bases as well, which is interesting. But that one looks pretty good as well. All right, moving on to another Ram Pro Master because they are three and three which means our last two will be transits, which is perfectly fine. Not really sure um, if green light's going to add anything in the future, but I would love to see them add a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. That would be super cool. I'd be super stoked about that. Get our uh, Canada Post ProMaster out. There is our Canada Post ProMaster. This one looks pretty good. It does have your unit number right there on the quarter panel, which is pretty nice. Nice little small detail in there. There is your Canada Post information on the side. Even has the 1-800 number, which is pretty cool. I really like the back of this. This is the best part of it. Look at all the detail on there. It looks like it's all filled up with boxes. It says frequent stops on there. A little bit of chevrons on there. This one's super cool. This one's really, really cool. This one's super nice. I really like this one a lot. There is your Canada Post on the hood, and then just says Ram in the grill. That looks really good. I like the prints for the headlights too. And then here is the deets on this side. I really like the fact that they're printing all the tracks in for the sliding doors. They they have not done that previously. Um, they've been kind of hit or miss, but it looks like every single one of them is going to be printed up with that. Take a look at our number here. It looks like 1510. So that looks pretty good. These are screwed together. Kind of interesting. They're not riveted. I don't know if the transit is screwed together or not, but we're going to try. We're going to check that out because we're going to take a look at another one right now. 
This is for Chicago PD. This is basically the paddy wagon, you know, you, you, you're out partying, breaking the law, and they got to take a lot of people in. Uh, they're going to bring the paddy wagon and just load it up and put all the, put all the criminals in there. So we'll crack this guy, get him out of there. Always make sure you got to be careful with the side mirrors because they are quite fragile. There is the uh, Chicago PD. It says we serve and protect on the side. Unit number 6833. Probably based on a real unit, which is pretty cool. Chicago PD on that side. There is your logo. Deets on the back. It does have a plate on it. So it is indeed based on an exact unit. A little bit of Chevron detail in there as well. This is also a Transit 250 as well. That's pretty cool. Looking very, very nice. There is the deets on the front. So you can tell by the plate detail that it's definitely an actual unit. It's the only reason they would put the plate in there. Uh, this LED light bar on the top is fantastic. A little bit of print on there. Um, very low profile. Looks really, really good. Um, they've been using this on some of the Tahoe's and some other stuff. Um, it's going to roll out to all the... All the more modern police stuff, but uh, for now, you know, Greenlight is still making a lot of older or classic uh, police stuff, like 90s and stuff. Uh, we're going to move on to our very last transit, this one in dark blue, which is AKA literally Amazon transit van, pretty much almost exact. Um, it just doesn't say Amazon on it. So hopefully they do like a hobby exclusive, which has Amazon. That would be cool. That would be really, really cool. Um, or it would be even cooler if they made that Rivian uh, delivery van. That would be even cooler. I'd be super stoked about that one. So we'll get this guy out of there. Get a little plastic out of there. There is our dark blue transit van. Um, I can assure you that in person it's a little bit lighter than this. It's very, very, very close to the Amazon color, I assure you. It's a little bit darker on the screen. Um, but I, I, I promise this is this is totally Amazon. It's totally Amazon. Uh, and I know Greenlight did this on purpose. So there is the deets on the front. This one looks really good because it's basically just factory transit. Again, prints are absolutely amazing. Really, really good quality. I am super, super stoked to finally get a full set with no quality issues. Um, looks fantastic. The prints are just unbelievable. All this black printing down here is added on. It's nice and thick. It covers everything. Even in the back here, it's just, man, I'm really, really relieved to finally get a good, good quality version. Um, green light release for a change. 562, I believe, is the number. There you go, 562. So relatively low numbers on everything, which is pretty good. And again, like I mentioned, I am super stoked that I did not get a green machine because I don't collect green machines. And of course, if I get a green machine, then I don't want to crack it and uh, kind of defeats the purpose of doing an unboxing. So there we go. There is Route Runner Series 5, 3 and 3. Very good. Uh, very nice decos and stuff like that. Um, hopefully, they can, uh, hopefully they can do an actual Amazon one in the future because uh, I think that would be awesome. So let me know what you guys think about these. Let me know if you got a favorite. If you're asking me, I really like I really like the Canada one. That one is really really nice. Um, but if this had Amazon on the side, done deal, done deal. So we're gonna roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Level in the Peace.